This is High Seven to Rock Rock, my two time heavyweight champion in the world. I'm rocking with Lady Shag. Hey guys, hey guys. So, and the new <laughs> is in the booty scene. We have a new super middleweight, undisputed British champ, female of the world. Savannah Marshall beats Franchon Cruz to. To shine, to shine, to shine, to shine. Game changing. I'm just gonna keep it as French on crew. Um, in a fight that I, in the beginning, was like, no, I've got French on crews on this, and then I had to realize star for star matchups. No, Savannah Marshall was the better boxer. I said she has to keep it long, uh, mid to long. And she'll be all right. She'll outbox Cruz. Cruz is fight style. Bad, oh. bad, bad, bad. The, the, the ugly fight was in the booties. It was a ghastly booties. Um, yeah, anyway. So basically, round one to ten. Savannah Marshall got dragged into a Franchon Cruz fight. Franchon Cruz, no technique. I don't know what happened. Well, well no, I do. She, uh, she doesn't have technique. She's a brawler. And she's got heart. And uh, she sang the national anthem before she, you know, came on. And she didn't even have breath to do that. Gosh. But anyway, so, so um, Savannah, I gave Franchon Cruz probably the first round and uh, round seven. I, Savannah Marshall comfortably beat, well, uncomfortably beat uh, Franchon Cruz. And uh, Franchon Cruz was the master of smash and grab. Basically... Hit Marshall, smother work, and grab her and clinch. The ref should have took off a point, at least warned her, then taken off a point. Because it was hard for Savannah Marshall to get into her rhythm. It was hard for Savannah Marshall to get shots off. But in the end, she did. By about round three, when, um, I, had, I had Savannah Marshall now etching it like 2-1 by then, right? And uh, Savannah Marshall started to land the only... Clean, effective shots were only landed by Savannah Marshall. Uh, Franchon Cruz never lands clean and effective shots to that, you know, to that degree. She's she's a she's a Franchon Cruz is a female Derek Chisora. Um, so you know she took away Savannah's jab, and Savannah weren't jabbing. When Savannah Marshall started to get in her rhythm and started to box long and started to jab. Um, she landed some nice combinations. Um, Savannah Marshall's got really good head movement, but Savannah Marshall was knackered. Franchon Cruz, her, her, her conditioning, her body conditioning was horrid. Um, she was clearly not in the best condition. By round one, two, even Savannah Marshall was tired, but by round, like, two, Franchon Cruz just looked like she looked to state to be honest i'm not even going um, to she was totally out of shape she, um this is this is a 36 year old um woman mind you so you know time is not of the essence and um technically she's just not a great boxer um so basically she took it into then savannah turned up the antes i'll tell you that and um basically just started to land clean and wash um and busted uh, a, a crew's nose. I don't know if that was Clash of Heads, but I think it was. She visibly rocked Cruz. Um, there was never any point of time when um, Savannah was vis visibly rocked. Savannah Marshall was the bigger, bigger girl. I mean, she's fought at 175. That was my introduction to. I think I saw a fight at light heavyweight. Um, so she was the bigger girl. Obviously, she's in shape. Cruz, <clears throat> not in shape. That 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 title defense voluntary because you didn't want to fight Shadeja Green. Big backfire. But I mean, you lost your belts, but basically you sold your belts to the UK because that's what there was more money. So you ducked Shade Shadeja Green. That judge that had it a draw. <laughs> Stupid judge lies. Clarissa Shields stop as well. I had it. I had Savannah Marshall winning. Clear win. I give an eight two win. If if I'm being generous, it'd be seven three. A lot of people had it even nine one. Um. So she uh Savannah Marshall won by 
majority decision. Um, so I was happy for that. I was really happy. Um, there ain't nothing really much that I could touch. It was a dog fight. Tavana Marshall got brought up in, brought into that fight. She should have always kept it long, but she did well within the circumstances and I'm glad and shouts out to Savannah Marshall. Where does Savannah Marshall go after she said that basically if Clarissa Shields wants to fight her, Clarissa Shields can cut to 168. Clarissa Shields was uh, going above and beyond. God. Uh, we're going to talk about it on the weekly wrap up. She's going to be show tomorrow. Um, with Fragile Cruz, maybe I, th I feel that she should retire. Belts are tied up at 168. She ain't getting a rematch. Um, Chrisha Shields is also the undisputed champ at 160. Unless Clarissa Shields wants to give her, do a title voluntary defense and be, um, choose um, Cruz, just like Cruz uh, chose Savannah Marshall coming off a loss and back to back undisputed fights. Only you go up in women's boxing, eh? Uh, or she can move down to 154 and try to challenge uh, Taylor or um, Terry Harper. I don't think she can make 154. 154 has left the booth. It was a great day of boxing. We had a lot of boxing and I am, um, yeah. And the bitch was too tired to do post-fight post reports. Sorry. But, um, yeah, so shouts out to Savannah Marshall. And the new 168 Women's Champion, Undisputed Champion of the World. Um... It's in the build dizzy. Hartley Port is in the build dizzy. It's a northeast build dizzy. It's a UK build dizzy. Anyway, I'm gone. Shouts out to Savannah Marshall. Commiserations to um Fragile Cruise Dijon. Dijon. Game changed. Um and yeah. Let's see what each fighter will do in the future, I guess. Anyway, I'm gone. Ra come up to it, Sean. Yan Ra and the new is in the build dizzy. Yeah!